Welcome back everybody, this is Ghost X Feared here, and today I'm going to be covering Sea of Thieves. I did just stream this my last Wednesday stream, so check that out on my Twitch channel um, to watch that. Um, so in this video, I'm just going to cover kind of how to play a little bit, and kind of my personal opinion about this game. Um, because the tutorial in this is not, not real great, doesn't really show you what to do. So, first off, you're going to start on a random island. It's an outpost, okay? And the outposts have shops on them. This gold hoarder guy, there'll always be a guy with a tent. Where I can see him. You talk to him, he's going to give you missions to do, and there's collectibles to get. So you have to purchase them. You'll get your first one for free. Um, just because you don't want have any gold when you start. Okay, so he's going to give you chest missions. And then you got all your little shops here. Come in, come in. So this guy sells all the instruments and the compasses and the buckets and stuff. So and the drum and all that stuff. So it all right there. Okay. And then we're gonna head over to. We'll go to this shop here. How can I help you? And this guy has all. Okay, he's got face paints. It looks like. He's got hats. He's got clothing. He's a clothing kind of guy. Boy, he's got some new hats. <clears throat> a Kraken hat. That's very tempting. But anyway, I'll stick to it. So he sells the clothing. The other chick you can buy missions from is right here. She's in a creepy little tent. The order. You talk to her, and there's these at every single um, outpost that's in the game. There's these. Three main people that'll sell you quests that you can purchase. And these are skeleton hunts. And the last person that you could talk to to purchase to get missions on a Sea of Thieves here is this chick, the merchant chick. Yeah, I'm just attempting to help. So these are missions to uh, go collect animals and deliver them to a certain port and stuff like that. At least that's how it was when I first started playing. All right, so say, say we got our mission. This chick has got your ship customization stuff. So, your cannon, your wheel, your sails, your hull, everything. Your Hi. front mast. But, because I have played for a decent amount of time, this is where you go in and you um, select all your stuff that you have purchased. That's kind of cool, actually. Another ship. Okay, so say we've done that, okay? Now, next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to collect supplies. And you can collect supplies from the outpost barrels that are on the island. Um, it used to be a lot easier to do this. You could just take what was in the barrel. You didn't have to go into the barrel like you just see me do. You could just take from it. So you're going to want to get as many supplies as you possibly can from the islands. From all the barrels and stuff. Don't get stuck. There is another shop here. He's Grab a, a little weapon ways up and here. Get back to the fight. Oh, sorry. She... <laughs> My bad. Uh, and she's got all the weapons, the guns and stuff. Now, all the stuff you've seen so far is cosmetic only. It's never going to give you a benefit. It's not going to benefit you at all. It's just going to look better. It's going to look cooler. Like that pistol. Nice, sleek. Admiral's oh, pistol. Now, we're pirates. So I'm definitely not an admiral. I am a captain, but I'm not an admiral. So, say we've collected all of our supplies. We're going to want to go to our ship. Okay, and there's three types of ships. There's a sloop, which is the one I have right now. A brigantine, which is a smidge bit bigger. And you need three people to crew. And the galleon. And the galleon is the biggest, which requires four people to crew. Now, you do not need those amount of people to... Oh, oh, never mind. You don't need that amount of people to crew these ships. It just makes it easier. You can crew a galleon by yourself, but... It's a fool's fool's hardy thing to do because you can't can't do everything at once. You can't turn the sails, you can't turn the ship, you can't shoot the cannons, you can't raise the anchor, you know. You can do all those, but it just it's too much. So once you get on your ship, you're gonna wanna empty your pockets. And you're gonna store all your stuff. And you see, let's see here, we don't want take, we want store. So why? I'm gonna store all those. Okay. And I got Food, so here's your food barrel. Oh, no, wood barrel, my bad. Food barrel here. And you store all the food. And then your wood barrel. And I don't, I didn't grab any wood. So your wooden planks to, to repair your hull. So. 
This is your map, all right? This is this is the entire map of the game. This is an open world pirate game. Pretty awesome, pretty self-explanatory. Big map. I mean, big, big map. And all the little specks that you can see are all islands. And if you zoom in, you get start getting the names of the islands. You can really see what the islands look like. Kind of, you know. It's, it's a pirate map, so it's not going to be completely detailed. So, I mean, yeah. Lots to do. Lots to go. Where Lots of places to see. Different types of sea, seas you can sail on. Um, this is your weapons. Your armory. So you can go in here and select your... Your different types of guns and swords, which are, again, all cosmetics. This is where you, uh, reload your gun. Okay. Now, down here is all your chests. So, your clothing chests that you can... Once you've purchased all that stuff from the island, you come into here, and you can put on whatever you'd like, take off whatever you'd like. Uh, your pet chest, which I do have a monkey. Now, the monkey you do have to buy with real money, I do believe... <laughs> so anyway, that's my monkey. Okay. What's this here? Your equipment's chest, so this should be all your your instruments, your compass, your lanterns, your shovels, your scopes, your everything, okay? Next will be your like your character customization chest. I actually got a new a new uh title, Hunter of the yeah, we'll go with that one. Okay. Your food barrel. You can cook some fish once you've caught them, because you have a fish pole now. The brig. So if your crew votes you into the brig, that's where you'll end up. And your water. So if your ship catches on fire, you come down here. You throw it on whatever on fire. And then you come over here and you reload it. Pretty nice, right? Okay. So now that you kind of got the rundown of the ship, cannonballs are right up here, as you saw. Hold on, I gotta check on this. Okay, that is a ghost ship galleon. So, anyway, we're, we'll get to that, we'll get to that. So on this table here is where you place down your missions, okay? Oh boy, I should've bought a mission. I'll go buy a mission quick. I'll go buy a skelly mission. Whoops. Well, water's beautiful. Everybody check that out. I'm trying to jam-pack all this into 15 minutes. We're gonna buy a skelly mission, because... They're more, a little bit more interesting. Our time is now. They're only eighty bucks, which means I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get much out of it. But inventory's full. Lovely. Voyages. Okay, you can only have three voyages. Thought they increased that. I guess not. All right, so we're gonna put down a voyage. Okay, get there. Do this as fast as I can. I may make a part one, part two, because I'm running out of time and there's lots to see, lots to show. Oh man, okay. We'll do this one, I guess. So, once you put down the voyage, if you've got more crew members, you have to vote on it. Everybody has to come vote on the voyage to play. So, as you can see, yada yada. Just me playing. So if you hold down your uh, RB tab, you can see... Oh, okay, this is the port that I'm on. And normally it'll direct you to an island on which you're supposed to sail to. And if, say, if this was a different island, you should come on the map. Now, clearly this is the port that I'm at because it's a different type of mission. But it, you'd have to search for the island that it shows. Once you've found that said island, click A to mark where it's at. And then, you know, use your compass to sail to that direction. Now, because... Oh, I made that jump that time. Woo! Because this is a different type of mission, and I should have remembered that. Uh, okay, so now you have to find the treasure and dig it up. I suppose this is a nice little tutorial. There's two chests. So, the dock. There's the dock. So, it's got to be... It's got to be, like, right up here, eh? Okay. So... This is when you dig up the treasure. If you had any other crew members that would tell you... No, monkey, monkey, okay. No, buddy, look. You have to dig up the chest or whatever. Pick it up and you bring it back to your ship, okay? 
And then, you know, and it could be a multiple island type quest, so you might have to go somewhere else to to get the rest of it to finish the quest. I don't know where I'm going now. Where's the other one? The end of this little island over here. So, that's a little rough tutorial as far as how to hunt for your treasure and stuff like that. I think in my next quick video here, I'm going to show you kind of how to sail and how to do all that stuff because I only have five minutes left. These 15 minute videos, man, just sometimes aren't enough. Oh, worm, I don't want that. Oh, yay, look at that. There it is. So, it'll say voyage complete. Um, as far as these gifts go, you have to deliver these gifts to a specific island, um, which I will show you. Um, I'm going to get all this stuff back to my ship first. Now, I like to, when I'm playing, especially by myself in a sloop, and I don't have any other crew members, and you're, you know, you're on the, you're on the fierce seas of being a pirate, which means there are other players out there. And most of which aren't very nice. It's not Sea of Friends. So you got to be very careful on what you do. So what I like to do is I like to hide my treasure on my ship. Now, I know it's not the easiest thing to do because I'm really not hiding it, but I am. I like to store my stuff in inconspicuous places like a chest. A chest right here would blend in very well in between these two things. So I like to hide my stuff. Some of my friends slash crewmates, they don't like to do that. Oh, I love my missed again. So, I don't know. It's a little tip that you can use to maybe be outsmart uh, pirate that's here to, to steal your booty. Um, so we're going to get all this to my ship. We're going to hide, hide it here. Okay. Alright. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find this island that I have to bring this to. I can never remember the name. Ah, Reaper's Hideout. Reaper's Hideout is where we got to bring it to. So that is southeast from here. See, there's my ship right there on Golden Sands Outpost right here. So, and this is where I marked. So, you know, southeast. Not too far away. And because I did open up a slot in my pockets... Hopefully now I can maybe go buy another voyage. Fate brings you to us. Yeah, yeah, fate, fate, fate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll buy a skelly. May fate guide oh. your hand. All right. So this for this short tutorial, that's gonna do it for me. Um, I'll finish part two and I'll show you guys how to sail in the next video. So stay tuned for that. But I hope this helped. I hope you guys pick up this game. It's a beautiful game. The art style is definitely unique. So check it out. This is a, not a sponsored video, so please remember that. I'm just doing this because I love this game. It's an open-world pirate game. It doesn't get much better than that. So please, like and subscribe. If you want to see more of this, if you want me to see cover more of Sea of Thieves, like my stuff, like and comment. That lets me know you guys want to see more of it. So that'll about do it. So, I will see all of you in the next one.